Well, hi, everyone, and happy Friday. Surprise, it's Lauren from Craft Some Joy, and I just wanted to say a quick hello and happy Friday, and maybe just check out and see who's around and who's on Facebook, and also who might be scrapbooking today. And maybe just check out and see who's there. We go, <laughs> turn that down. And um, there is some new little twists and turns that we've discovered uh, just recently with Facebook and Zoom. So I just had to kind of come on and see if that might be um, working out okay. So can you guys see me? Somebody say hello. And um, I can see if I've got the right place. The comment section is looking pretty dry right now, you guys. So somebody say hi. Okay. Here we go. Carrie, you need to scrap. I need to scrap, my friend. I do too. And Jane's here. Happy Friday. Look, you guys. Are you excited? I just got these in the mail. <laughs> Leo's here, Wendy's here, Janice is here. Okay, hands up you guys, hands up. Who got, who got your punches? Because I thought, just because I just need a little diversion today, I wanted to open these up with you and maybe make a border or two. How about that? because I want to also kind of share what else is going on. So awesome. Yay. Julie's here from Canada. Mary's here. Okay, good. Carrie, you can see everything. Yeah. Guess what? Uh, you know, tech changes again. I guess there's a new relationship uh, with Zoom and uh, Facebook. So how about that? <laughs> Oh my goodness. So Diane, you haven't gotten yours yet? Okay, good. Well, you can watch me play and then you'll have some fun things to do. And okay, Allison is working on photo organization for album in a day. I love it. Okay. Yes, Mary, you got yours today. Awesome. Beth is scrapping with friends. Awesome. Going to power sort. Great. Okay. And Carrie, yours are in, oh my goodness, oh borders, yes. Okay, yours are in your box. Well, go grab them. Go grab your stuff if you want to do this with me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump into this in just a minute. But before we go there, I wanted to make sure, because you know me, you guys, it's Friday. It's Friday, and on Fridays, we get advisor emails letting us know what's going on. So that's one reason I like to jump on to share stuff with you, chat a little bit, but also to let you know what's going on, right? Like I need to let you know what's going on. So guess what? We are going to do a quick little share screen because I need to let you know about um, something that is just brand new they announced to us today and i needed to make sure that you guys knew about this because it kind of surprised me i i was a little shocked you guys when i found out but they added a bunch of stuff to last chance yeah so you know that was um that was news to me I'm just grabbing the right screen for you. So um, I, I just wanted to kind of make sure you knew about that because I had to go, I, I mean, I just know people are gonna miss it. So I had to go order a few things, but guess what? It's during the punch promotion, <laughs> right? So it could be a good thing. It could be a good thing. So I'm gonna share my screen really quick. So I'm gonna lose you for just a minute. Um, for the chat, but let me just kind of show you super fast um, what we're doing right here because uh, you need to know about this. So there are the punch promotion. You guys have heard me talk about it. That's what's in front of me and we're gonna play with today. I got both of them. <laughs> and then today's email, they did a, guess what? We're gonna put a whole bunch of stuff on last chance now. And when it's tools, 
I feel so strongly that you guys need to know this before they are gone, because there are people out there that buy these things up. You guys know that you've heard me talk about it. So if you don't have these tools and it's something that you think you've been wanting, then you guys grab it. Like this seashell one is one of my absolute favorites. I love it. I absolutely love this punch and the infinity chain. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So they added the Daydreamer Fast to Fab Last Chance. The Daydreamer without the Fast to Fab pages is not on Last Chance, just so you know. And then the Baroque uh, frame punch, the seashells and the infinity chain all went to Last Chance as well as, you guys, the Winter Woods. I love those laser borders. Oh my goodness, they're on last chance. And the Hello Autumn and the Natural Disposition, the laser cut titles. And you guys know how I love titles too. So those are all on last chance as well as brand new today. They put the orange dot tip pen and the hunter dot tip pen. Those are all brand new additions to Last Chance. I wanted you to hear it here. I wanted you to know about it so you guys can make sure uh, you're informed. And then these have been on for a little while, the arch, the gum leaf, the airplane, as well as travel log and the Christmas spirit. So if you're ever just kind of going, ah, what should I, you know, check out, always go up to the last chance tab on the website right here where it says last chance and, um, and just check it out, you know, because sometimes they do add those things in there. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. And then if you um, wanted to grab any of those, remember the punch promotion is on so you can get these gorgeous two punches uh, if you spend 125 or 250. 125, you get to pick one, 250, you get both. And they're for free. So yay, free stuff. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew about that because it's a big deal, I think. It's a big deal. We, we just needed to know that. So we can be aware of um, all the last chance stuff. So, okay, I've got you guys back. The punches are epic. Yeah, I need to try layering the mountains with your design. Yeah, I know, Carrie. You know what? We're actually going to make. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, make the two two borders, one for each, that are on the blog. And so I'm actually gonna read the instructions today. <laughs> We need both punches, let's be real. Yes, we do indeed. Um, but before we do that, before we jump into the punches, I wanted to let you guys know, I have been working right along with you. Look at my stackola. I'm so proud to say I have been working on my album in a day and my album map. I've started filling all of this out um, with all the pages. And so I've got my two page spreads kind of going on here. And here is my stack. So remember how I said in our last um, lesson five, this is all that's what's included in album in a day, but I just kind of wanted to share the pro a little bit about the process because the process I think has really just taken everything we need to know, condensed it down into, the, the five steps that you need to do in order to get an album ready so that you can just whip through those pages. So um, this is gonna look familiar to all of you folks who have been in my album in a day class, but remember I said to take the um, top page from, from the Fasta Fab off, but you can see, I hope, can you see how I have this huge stack now of all these pages ready to go in my album. So this is gonna be on the back of this page right here. This is gonna go right here. And then this is gonna go on the opposite page. So you can already see, I've placed a peekaboo pocket in here. I've added some 
memorabilia in here. I did even another, I'm going to do a double peekaboo pocket, a card, you know, so I'm just digging into all the stuff to get my pages ready. So you can see when I'm getting on May 1st, when I go live on YouTube, I'm just going to take this stack and we're just going to start scrapbooking. We're going to just whip through all of these pages. And I know I've, I've told you guys about the cutting guide and I am going to, I'm still working on that. Okay. But I needed to kind of get a handle on some of this first and I'm in the cutting guide. Once you get it, you guys, it's, it's a simple thing. It's not going to be uh, hard at all to get the cutting guide. And then I'm going to load that into the classroom. And um, also what I wanted to mention is that I have been, I, I know I had a lot of questions about palette and what I'm choosing and kind of what things I am pulling together for my pages. So I just wanted to let you know here on Facebook, and I'm gonna read, you know, talk about this again in the album classroom. So don't worry, it'll be there too. But um, as I was going through kind of pulling together uh, the Homestead collection as my base palette, I thought, what can I use to complement this palette? And guess what? I, I'm pulling in natural disposition. Look at that black pattern with these pages. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I just want to let you know about that. I'm pulling in natural disposition. So I um, I'm going to be ordering, oh, well, I ordered some more of that. And also, you're going to laugh, but truly, Boho Escape. Okay, this paper pack, the tone on tone in Boho Escape. Look at that navy. That navy is in the Homestead collection. Plus, you get some kind of really cool accent colors in the Boho Escape tone on tone. So I just wanted to give you that info up front, just as I was kind of rolling through doing some of this stuff. So you can see this is a natural disposition paper. I think this, this green one is from natural disposition also. And um, I'm going to pull in the uh, charcoal cardstock. That color is gorgeous. And some navy, of course. So. You, you know, that's the thing, as you're putting your pages together, what's so great about doing a power layout and kind of seeing everything visually is that you get to start, you know, kind of making connections, not only with your photos and your story, but you're also making connections with color and what pieces you want to bring into your palette. So I encourage you, um, you know, again, just follow the process, just like we talked about. The first pass really does need to be photos. You know, make sure you just get all your photos down on all your pages and organize that. And I can't tell you in this process, okay, I'll, look, I, I move stuff around because I was like, oh my gosh, those photos don't go there because that was our second trip to Napa. I had forgotten we did two trips to Napa. So you can see I had to erase uh, and move stuff around, which is why I use pencil on my album map and, um, and kind of reorganize a little bit. And then I thought, oh, right. Remember we talked about how if you wanna tell the story, how many pages do you need to tell the story? So I then also decided I only wanted to tell the story on two pages here. So I had to kind of combine photos. So I love being able to see the whole um, album at a glance and kind of really get my head around the whole project. So I hope these forms are being help, are, are getting you excited, getting you organized and being and are helpful for your process too. But I, so I just, anyhow, I wanted to share that, what I was doing and um, a little bit behind the scenes. I am hoping, I, I think it's, I think this is what's going to happen. I'm hoping to get in, oops, this needs to go in here. I took the page out. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow afternoon in the album in a day uh, Facebook group at around 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And 
Carrie, if you're available, <laughs> I'd love it. I'm here, I'm throwing it at you. If not, I can handle it. I can do it myself. Um, but I just wanna go in and kind of give you a little bit more about this, like the, um, the process of picking my palette and kind of laying everything out. I've been working on trying to get a better angle for um, my layout. And do you guys like my new desktop? So part of why I'm on so late today is I went to Ikea and I'm hoping this doesn't have as much glare for you and gives a little more contrast. So I found this new tabletop and I think it's kind of cool. So I'm trying it out and I am trying out um, the, you know, kind of to see if I can share a little bit more real estate with you with my camera setup. Okay, so you can kind of see the big picture, <laughs> Carrie and I, we had a, we had quite the time trying to figure that out on how to show you, you know, a classroom setting picture page, uh, you know, anyhow, it was fun. So that's what's new with album in a day. Thank you, Darlene. I'm glad you like it. I, I, you know, Ikea, it's just, I love Ikea. We spent way too long there today, but I had fun. I took my, my daughter and um, we just tootled around, found some, she got a big desktop for herself too. And um, anyhow, it was fun. We had a little girl time and uh, yeah. So I got this for you guys. All right, that's album in a day. So anybody, Edita's here, hi Edita. Anybody who has not heard about album in a day, just go to craftsomejoy.com, go to the courses tab. There's a little write up on it, but basically it's really the process, the process to share how to get yourself organized for creating albums, whether it's an album in a day or in Carrie's case, uh, an album in what, a week? <laughs> <laughs> two weeks, right, Carrie? You're going to do it. You are going to do it. Um, and then uh, any any kind, the, the basic foundation is getting your album organized. And then you can take however long you want to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it quickly. And then it goes from quickly to however long and detailed and decorative you want to be on your pages, okay? But I'm showing you the fast, and then you can choose where you fall in the range of where you like to scrapbook. So I'm excited. Look at that. And Sue was asking, like, can all these fit in a box? Well, guess what? I have a lot of photos in here. So this is about probably a whole box. And this is, um, I'm a little more than halfway done, laid out on my album. So yeah, um, I guess you might need to keep the lid open on the box <laughs> and um, see how, see how, how much you're going to do. Hey, Charmaine is here. My sister-in-law, look at these little old pictures of your brother, Charmaine. Look at, he was a baby. And um, this is fun. We're putting together um, some, some old pictures. In fact, let's see, do I have one of you in here? I think there was a fun, like, uh, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to, when we get rolling in it, we'll have to point out some of John's family in the photos. So, um, okay. Oh, Julie, you have the same color. Oh, beautiful. Okay. The food is good too. Yes. 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 I know. So fun. Ikea food. Here's the thing, you guys, um, anybody in Southern Cal, I don't even know how, how widely distributed, uh, Portos, have, have any of you, like, do they have those other than in, in Southern California, Portos Bakery? So you guys, um, here, I'll show you Portos, <laughs> Dulce de Leche iced coffee. So yum, yum. I can't even tell you. We, um, the Portos is out near where my Ikea is. And so... <laughs> We did it. Dangerous. All you have to do is order online and then you go sit in the parking lot and the little people come out to your car and they take, you know, they see what you, what your order number is. And then they bring you your big bag of food that you ordered. It's, it's Cuban. Portos is Cuban. So um, they have uh, 
like empanadas and um, potato balls. And it, it's, it's just amazing. And the most amazing um, cheese, cheese pastries. Like they have refuge, refugiados, I, ref, ref, I, I can't, I don't know. Anyhow, really, really good food. That's all I'm saying. And um, I had not tried that iced coffee, delicious. Absolutely delicious. So here is the Wheatfield Border Punch. And you guys know we need to, this is just scratch paper. I'm gonna just kind of get some of the oil out because I just brand new opened these up with you. So I just wanted to punch that a few times, make sure we get some of the oil, but it, it's gorgeous, right? And look at that, that looks good, right? The wood with the white. So you can see that a little better now. All right, um, really, really pretty. Okay, so I'm excited about my new table. <laughs> It's just a, it's just a little tabletop. I just put right on top of my old one. Anyhow, the things we do for fun. Here's the mountain, so pretty. And I'm just gonna punch that a couple more times so that we can, you know, you can kind of see the, the little oil residue when you first punch your punches. So yeah, you wanna make sure to get that all on just some scratch paper. So there's the mountains, really, really fun. Now people were asking, I should show you, um, let me grab, oh, where's my other mountain punch? I hope it's not like so far over, I can't reach it. Where is it? The other mountain punch, people were like, what's the difference between this mountain punch and the other mountain punch. And why can I not find my mountain punch? Where is it? <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, here it is. Ah, oh, right in front of me. Here's the other one. Okay, let's punch that. So you guys know, you wanna see them side by side so you can see. This one's super like pointy pointy, right? And this one's a little more realistic looking my my two cents right so if you want to kind of see the difference um i actually i think i kind of like the new one i mean this is this has got its place for sure but this new one is just so um i don't know it's a little softer right just a little softer little little more fun so i'm gonna just get my extras off here. And then there you've got it. So there's the wheat field, the mountains, the old mountains, just for reference. And so what are we going to do today? We're going to do something fun. We're going to make a couple borders. So what I need to do is go to the um, blog. And it's, you guys, it's the very first post when you go, well, no, maybe it's not. Isn't it the very first post? It's not the very first one. It's down a couple now. <laughs> okay, the um, really, really pretty pen, um, borders here. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick little share screen so that you can see where I'm looking on the um, blog, okay, and then I'm going to go back to my tabletop. So see that? That's what I'm, I'm looking at. So it's this post right here, Border Punches Promo, add the dynamic dimension with these scrapbook punch projects. So, you know, I get asked quite a few times, where do you find your inspiration? Right here on the blog. They have gorgeous uh, border ideas. But, you know, I also know that sometimes it's just more fun to have somebody show us in person rather than reading it and doing it on our own, right? So I'm gonna start with the Home Sweet Home border punch. I'm gonna do this one, the Home Sweet Home, and then, whoops, and then I'm gonna do um, this one, the Wheatfield What a Wonderful Life border. Now, the reason I'm doing these, I do have kind of a selfish motive for this is that I am going to put these 
um, hopefully they'll find a place in that big stack I just showed you of pages. So that is just kind of what I wanted to um, mention as far as uh, the, um, uh, you know, why I'm going to do this one, why I thought this would be a good one. Okay, so here we go. Instructions, we're going to first, I'm going to grab my Homestead collection. And um, so funny, I think I've ordered so many packs of this now because I played with this, I think on the last, uh, oh, I think I played with this on the virtual crop, right? So I have one of these with a big circle cut out of it. And then I know I'm gonna use it for my album in a day. This is the collection. And then I'm like, oh, and then I've got to make these borders because they are just so darn cute, these borders. So anyhow, this collection is going to just go for miles and miles, I think, right? And, um, and, and just have fun. Oh, Jane has a good question. The new and the old mountains layered together. Let's check that out, Jane. Okay, so I didn't punch these very well. <laughs> so there's, um, let me see, you'd probably, let me see, let me do this. Let me bend that down. Let me bend this down, make pretend like I did a good job with that. I think I'd probably wanna do maybe those in the background, something like that. We're going to do this double, that double mountain look um, with the border, with the new border strip. So you can kind of see that maybe the pointy ones in the background, or we could do those in the, in the front, right? You can kind of see that hopefully a little bit. Okay. So yeah, good question. I don't know that I wouldn't necessarily do that, but you could definitely have fun playing with it for sure. This has just got so much more roundies, roundedness going, right? So anyhow, okay, this one, it says the first thing we're supposed to do is cut a 12 by three and a quarter inch strip of black plaid paper for the base. Okay, so we're going to go at three and a quarter. I actually have dimensions. Aren't you guys proud? <laughs> three and a quarter right here. Let's, let's make this cut right here. Three and a quarter. So if you want to grab, if you have this collection, you have your punches, do this along with me. We'll play tonight. It's Friday, right? You got to relax, enjoy. And there's, um, there's the base. Black plaid paper for the base and then we are um yeah contrasting colors for sure pointy in the front okay carrie says <laughs> pointy in the front and contrasting we're gonna see how the contrasting you know what i'll do for you guys i'll punch for this border i'll punch both of them how about that we'll see how that looks we'll put the pointy in the french with the green but i'm going to show you both ways okay so we'll we'll see how that goes we'll do a little do a little fun, right? Okay, so we did the base and now we're gonna cut a 12 by two and three quarter strip of the chevron paper to adhere to the base. And this is the chevron paper. So I'm just gonna use this scrap here and it's um, two and three quarter, two and three quarter, here we go. And then that is gonna go right on the base. Okay, right there. Then we are gonna punch a border using the Alpine border punch with the green leaves paper. That's what's next. So the green leaves paper right here, it's on the back of this. I don't know if I have a scrap yet of that. Um, so we are gonna punch the Alpine with this paper. So I'm going to need a little more room on my brand new wood desk. I do love this. It's really nice and smooth. <sighs> I, I got some other things to play with 
in my craft room. And once I get them, actually, I'm going to try to get my kiddos to make them for me because I just, I got too much to do, you guys. Um, anyhow, but I'll share with you what those will look like when um, some, some new ideas I have on getting some things, some other places organized down here. I went into kind of chaos mode. You guys do that. And it's like, oh my gosh, I've got so much more stuff now. I need more stuff so I can organize my more stuff. <laughs> I think I'm going backwards from the minimalistic uh, idea, but I have to say that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty that is, you guys. But when you've got punches, you need places to put punches, right? Right, look at that. Oh, so pretty. And um, you know, sometimes that's just that's just what you have to do. Okay. And Sherry says you you she might need to order the homestead paper. Yes, camping, it will go. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie lives in chaos mode. I feel like I do too. I I I understand. Um camping, this is beautiful for camping. I think homestead just is such a beautiful collection okay and then um punch with green trim to two and one eighth inches punch another border with brush metal okay two two and one eighth you guys two and an eighth that's like right here in between two and an eighth is right in between here because uh, that first line is your quarter inch line. So we're gonna go right in between that. All right. And you guys remember whenever I'm using my trimmer, I always like going from bottom to top. I know I've mentioned that before um, because especially if it's something where you're getting, you know, kind of delicate and edgy here or little, you just, you want to be able to push your paper up towards the top. Just remember that as you're um, doing things. It's, I know if you're right-handed, you're kind of always, you know, ready to pull down, but if you go up, you're going to get a better cut, in my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion. So here we go. We're going to use the brushed I have a I have a strip of that already. We're going to use the brushed um, metal, and um, let's see. We are going to do. I have to read this now. We are going to punch with the brush metal, but begin punching in the middle of the punch, rather than where the marks are. Okay, you guys. So that's the trick. So this is the one where. Let's see. Does the green Oh, the green. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a green with the other um, mountains too. But first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the middle, the middle, the middle of this. I think I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna eyeball it right here. I'm gonna show you. See, so we have the two marks right here. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball what the middle is right there. Actually, I can check on the bottom. I'm gonna go right to the top of that peak. That's where I'm gonna to guess to, right there. And then, um, and then try to punch it. <laughs> Hold it, punch it, don't move it. Oh my goodness, yeah, I moved it. Okay, let me try again. I'm gonna just go right to the punch, right to the center. Hmm, yeah, about right there. I, I don't think it, it's gonna matter so, so much. So we're starting in the middle. And then of course, when you come over, you're gonna to have to line that up so that it's just the half, right? On the side right there. So we got the trickiness figured out right now. We, we're good, you guys, look at that. And then you're just gonna keep going, line that up, make sure the top is over there on the other side. This is a pretty easy punch. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. It's, you know how some punches are just, oh, so much more fussy, right? <laughs> this is a pretty easy one. Really nice. Super duper nice. And 
one more right here. So now this is going to be the other half, right? And now we've got those half mountains. And this is what's going to layer behind. Ta da! So cool, right? So cool. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right. So because I told you I would. Oh, we need, we need, um, I forgot, we need another paper, shiplap, uh, a 12 by two and a half of the white shiplap. That's why you're not being able to see that very well. Let me find the white shiplap. Here we go, two and a half. Two and a half, two and a half. And then we'll go back and do that, two and a half. Two, two and a half, here we go. Fun, fun, fun times. Okay, oh yeah, now we're really gonna see that mountain pop, right? Oh, because of the white. Look at how pretty that is. Ta-da! White shiplap, gray mountains, green on top. The gray, we we are gonna trim the gray um, with the brush metal, and then we're gonna trim to measure one and a half. Okay, so let me trim that and then we're gonna do the other one. One and a half. So we're gonna have to look at the top of these mountains and make sure these mountains are at the one and a half because uh, it's getting lacy and delicate here, right? Look at that. Okay, woo wee, you guys, it's coming out. How about that? I'm following directions and it's working. <laughs> oh, I never cease to get amazed sometimes. Okay, so if you want to see, oh, the gray goes behind. Hold on, sorry. The gray goes behind, but if you wanna see what the pointies, okay, the pointies, the pointies, let's see. Let's just play with it, why not? Give it a try. Let's do the pointies. And um, in case, you know, I know this is, I know this is probably sometimes helpful for people when they're like, ah, I really, I need to pick, right? I, I can't get both. Um, and I need to pick, I have the mountains. Will, will the mountains that I have be okay to work or, do I just really want those, you know, I guess it would be like, what kind of a, are you a real outdoorsy person? And, um, you know, do you love mountain? Do you have a lot of mountain, outdoorsy mountain pictures? So here we go. Here is version one. And that is with, okay, so we're gonna just kind of layer this up. We're gonna put the gray here. And then the green, soft mountains, soft mountains right there. Okay, there's version one. And then if you want to see what the pointy mountains look like, here you go. Version two, version two, right there. Okay, which do you prefer? Version one or version two? <laughs> okay, so I think they both look really good. But I just, you know, I, I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to kind of stick with the green because I've already got that trimmed down. So we have, uh, let's see. Oh, I think it looks like this has to go up. So we see a little bit of that chevron gray. Okay, something like that. So we do little peekaboos both ways. And that chevron pattern is not quite showing through. So I, I might trim the shiplap just a smidge so uh, we can see more of that. But anyhow, you can get the idea there. And then we're gonna grab that gorgeous um, laser cut. Oh my gosh, I think it was Birdie said, oh, where's the punch that makes that pattern? Wouldn't that be a gorgeous punch? If it made that pattern, I was like, oh, Birdie, I wish that was a punch. But 
second best. It's already done for us. It is a laser embellishment. And look at that. All you have to do is place it down. You don't even have to make one punch at all. And it's good to go. And then, and then we are going to do home sweet home here. And then there are, I think this one flowers, maybe the smaller one. I think smaller. Yeah. Yep. I think it's the smaller one. So there's two sizes, but I'm going to go with the smaller for this. And then you want to put this on a little um, backing of black paper so that, you, you know, it makes that stand out. Um, so there's border one. Gorgeous, isn't it? Woohoo! Carol's here. Hi, Carol. That's okay. I was unannounced, just having fun. Let's play. <laughs> um, yes, the Sherry, the lasers from Homestead. The lasers from Homestead. Oh, they're gorgeous. The Homestead, the whole Homestead collection is just so pretty. The lasers, and then it's got the, um, you know, the whole embellishment pack. I took, I think I've, I've been digging into all of this because I've been working on my pages and uh, there's just so many cute things in here to use. So lots and lots of, um, there's a stickers and so cute. There's another laser cut. So there is border number one. You guys, that was pretty easy too, right? So you can see that went together pretty well. I think for myself, what I would do instead of using it, it says to use the black plaid paper, but you know what, you don't even see that. And so instead of kind of, you know, I like blocks of paper. I don't, I don't like little tiny pieces of paper. So what I would probably do is just grab a black scrap, right? This is too small, but you guys get the, the idea and just put a little piece of black scrap behind it that would fit there. And then it would, you know, make the laser cut pop there. So that's how I would finish that off, but really pretty, isn't it? Ta -da! Love it. There you go. Home sweet home. So I'll stick that all down together later, but you guys want to see, you want to see the wheat field, wheat field. Let's do the wheat field. What a wonderful life border strip. So we're going to start with the green leaves paper. Okay. And you know, they have, um, they just have some really great ideas on the blog. So I say, you know, just whenever you're needing some inspiration, pop on over there. And um, there was also, you guys, did you see, there was a little pop-up sketch that happened on the virtual crop for Earth Day. Yeah, for Earth Day. That's really cute. Out of the green leaf paper, just darling. I'm just gonna set that right there. You guys can see it, I hope. Um, anyhow, yeah, there was a there was a pop up um, sketch for Earth Day. <laughs> so fun um, that uh, in case you wanted some more inspiration, you can check it out there. The Earth Day sketch. Anyhow, that was that was cute. So they had Earth Day, and then. Um, they have the two free punch promos. So you can get one punch for an order of 125 and you can get both for an order of 250. And you guys, there's only four days left and I would not wait until the last day because you know what happens, right? You guys know what happens, they sell out. So don't wait and um, remember the last chance goodies, right? So if you miss that, if you're just hopping on now, go to last chance because they just put some great uh, products in last chance, including the Baroque and one of my all-time favorite, which is the seashells. 
say that fast 10 times <laughs> and you want to, um, you want to make sure you, you have uh, the seashells. That's a, that's an awesome punch. The Baroque and then, um, oh, the Infinity Chain Border Maker cartridge. So if you don't have any of those three, oh my, you just need to get it, okay? Just bite the bullet and do it because otherwise you're going to be like, can you find this for me? And yeah, you know, it's not always easy to find. And Ruthie's here. Oh, she got, oh, you got your punches, Ruthie. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so this one is going to be a two by three inch for the base. So we're going to go all the way over to three inches. These are pretty hefty borders, but we'll see how they work on the page. Okay, so here's the base for the wheat field. We're going to do the wheat field. Now we're going to do the straight blade with shiplap paper once again. And we're going to do um, one and three quarter. One and three quarter of the shiplap. Can't wait to punch that wheat field. Isn't that pretty? You know, I, I mentioned that one of the things I really do enjoy is when you have a new collection, you know, we, we were talking about color and we were talking about kind of, this was in my album in a day, and we were talking about how you, how you remember what you have, right? How do you remember what you have? You play with it. You have fun. You get out your tools, you get out your paper, and you forget about, you know, oh, am I going to actually, um, you know, need this piece of paper later on? You forget about that because you just play with it and you will find a place to put it. You will. So, um, oh, now we need the teal. Okay. Punch a border using wheat filled and the brown leather. Isn't that crazy? They used the brown leather with the wheat field, but it says to do a teal, that's this paper uh, first, and we just need a one inch strip of this. So I'm just gonna do a one inch strip for the base there. And we're gonna use a sticker on this one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna do a one inch and now we get a punch. Now we get a punch, you guys. Okay, I don't think I need. Oh, you know what? I did forget. I forgot to do the little bumpies, the little scallop on the bottom. <laughs> I got chit-chatting a little too much. And um, let me put this back in and let me just get a little scallop blade right on the edge. There we go. Now we have a done deal there. Okay. So where was I? I was here. And then you, you go over there and you'll be good over there. And then this one, I like that we have this kind of texture on the top. And then this is gonna go here, I can see. And now we get a punch, let's punch. Okay, let me get you over there and then over here and then we can have some fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, Julie, what have you got to say as a native Nebraskan? Let's see what Julie has to say as I'm punching. The wheat field is perfect for trips back home to the grandparents. Ah, and the mountains came just in time for the Smoky Mountains album. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I think this is, these are just beautiful for so many things gorgeous look at that um that design really really nice okay and again like with the leather paper like i just would not have guessed looking at the picture on the blog that they used the leather paper but it really works really works. I forgot to look up who made these borders. I'll, I'll have to look it up and see. We've got some great blog contributors and uh, they're always doing such a good job with the new stuff. Let me see who it, it, if they said 
who it's from. Ah, oh, Chrislyn, of course it's Chrislyn. Thank you, Chrislyn, for these beautiful borders. Okay, so, and there's another one that says road trip. I'm not gonna do that tonight because, um, you know, that that can just be for another day. And and now you guys get to do it and two's good. We get to use both punches. We're gonna cut this one. We're gonna trim it down to measure one and a half, one and a half. Okay, and I'm gonna make sure to put my straight blade back in. So one of the things we were talking about are, you know, what things, if you, if you have decided that you really enjoy these punches, you really like them, what are some things to get, right? Um, adhesive, <laughs> get your never out. Adhesive, another trimming mat. I think I'm already on, I've already gone through, I think this might be my third mat. And if you feel like you're not cutting straight, you've got to make sure you, you change your mat, pull it out, flip it around. You know, it has four tracks. Make sure you've got a nice clean mat. And, um, and I always love having, keeping one of those mats and a straight blade because sometimes you think that, you know, you don't make that many cuts, but really you make a lot of cuts when you're scrapbooking. So, you know, I'm just saying some things to, to think about, uh, adhesive, your extra blade, even an extra red blade. If you like using your custom cutting system, get an extra red blade for that. And, um, like I said, the, the new, um, added items to last chance. If you haven't put those in your stash, you're going to want to make sure you have those especially the seashells. I should show you, I, I'm gonna show you some of the seashell stuff before we go today, just as a reminder. Um, look how pretty, wow, love it, right? Isn't that pretty? Okay, I better stick this one down because uh, I need to put uh, the sticker down, so. Let me just get a little adhesive down here. So talk about adhesive. Boy, I go through, I go through a lot of um, repositionable adhesive. Don't you guys? What else? What else would you pick out? If you had to, what are some of your favorite things? Like if you were telling somebody brand new to scrapbooking, you really need this. You should not scrapbook unless you have blank. What would you pick? What would you tell them? Tell me. I'm curious. What would you tell them? This goes down here. Ta -da. What are your favorites? Favorites, 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 favorites. I need a little piece of scratch paper to stick this on. Um, I never thought I needed the repositionable adhesive until <laughs> I learned about the repositionable adhesive. And then it's all about repositionable adhesive, right? Love the repositionable adhesive. Okay, the 12 inch trimmer. Yeah, one of everything. <laughs> Rosemary, I love it. <laughs> yeah, just go down the entire catalog and click add to cart, add to cart, <laughs> add to cart. Yeah, the multi-purpose tool. Oh yeah, paper packs, always new ones to get. I agree, always something fun, right? So, um, there's a new, and of course in May, we're gonna get inundated with more new stuff that um, the new circle cutter, you guys have seen the sneak peeks of those right? Um, and I, I am sworn to secrecy, but let me tell you, um, save your pennies for, <laughs> there's uh, Black Friday. You know Black Friday is always good, but I kind of got a little, little tiny tidbit, and you guys, 
you I'm I'm serious you want to save your pennies for Black Friday when it's coming I'm not sure exactly the release or anything but um oh boy there's just there's just more new stuff coming yeah custom cutting system Heather says yeah absolutely albums I know Ruthie albums they just you can't beat the albums so we're putting the sticker down this is kind of that wood bead sticker it goes right along the bottom right along the edge here of the wheat field border strip just gives that texture remember we talk about texture pattern variety scale um, contrast all those good uh, design terms to create these beautiful borders and they're all here and then we're going to put in what a wonderful life we're going to put what a wonderful life and then we're going to put um a flower so i gotta get that that's an embellishment so i'm going to grab my embellishments you guys know how much i love the fill and file sleeves and my foam squares oh my okay did i did i put them back where they're supposed to be let me see if i put my foam squares back where they're supposed to be i did not so they are in a little box around my desk somewhere i found them okay my foam squares and so we're going to put that flower definitely up on a foam square that just has to happen there it probably says it in the directions but i'm not reading right now and then um what a wonderful life okay then i'm going to come back and read all the good things that you said are your favorites we're going to stick this right here right on there and it's so cute look at that guys that didn't take me very long at all because i was chit chatty while we were doing it right and um here you know what I'm, i am just gonna stick this down why not right make it quick oh i was gonna trim this hang on let me trim just a smidge I know I'm not on camera. It's okay. You guys know I'm just trimming the little trim and I didn't get it all the way through. Hang on. Okay. There. See, so what I did is um, I wanted to see the texture on both sides and it was just because it was the edge of the paper. It didn't have that. That's all I did. I wanted to see I don't know, I'm weird. I have to have all those little, little uh, eye-catching things lined up. I don't know, what is it? It's just, I just have to do it. I don't know. Here's the shiplap. So I'm gonna trim the shiplap a little bit so that I can see a little bit more of that. Okay, and I'm gonna use the table so I can actually, um, and you know, that's part of the trick when we're building borders, right? They don't, you know, you grab your paper and you might not have grabbed it in the very same place as, you know, they did while they were creating the border. So sometimes you just have to trim like an eighth of an inch and make it work for you. So easy. We'll just pop this down. And then the gray was first. I can't remember. Let me see. <laughs> gray was behind. Let's put the gray back. In the background here. And then the green. Goes here. I love how it's um, staggered. Isn't that neat? I love the staggering of that. 
And then this laser cut strip. Actually, it looks like it goes kind of down a little bit here, there. And then I'm going to add the stickers, and then I'll have to come back and do the um, the black behind there. But there's that one. So there you go. You can kind of just see. Ta-da! Yay! <laughs> Very fun. Okay. Uh, yeah. Perfectionist. Yeah. Just a smidge, Sherry. <laughs> I, you know, I have to do that. Okay. So Carrie's favorite tool is the border maker system. I, I know. I love it. <laughs> Repositionable. Deb easier. Yes. Da bomb. Deb, your package is in the mail. I put some little goodies in there. Can't wait for you to get it. So, um, <laughs> Um, yeah, if you get it crooked, it doesn't matter, right? Because it's repositionable. I love it. What else did you guys think? End of November. Uh, yeah, save your pennies. I cannot tell you anything, but save your pennies. Okay. I, I'm sworn to secrecy. That's all I can say. I probably shouldn't have even said that, but save your pennies. Okay. I'm serious. It's going to be good stuff coming there. There's always good stuff coming, but, um, yeah, paper packs, multi-purpose tool, extra power layout box. Yeah, you guys know a personal trimmer, adhesive, project fold, power project folders, Darlene says, yep. And um, I know, oh, Julie's like, yeah, I think I do the brown cardstock. Good idea. You could easily use brown cardstock instead of the leather paper um, for that. But you know what? You didn't have, that was only an inch and a half. So you, there's still a lot left to that um, paper <clears throat> left. So there we have it, you guys. Album in a day. You know what? I'll pop the album in a day if you are interested. Album in a day workshop um, still going on. And so I will put a post there. We'll hop on tomorrow around 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I will share my layouts, kind of go through the album process, and then also um, how I've put together my palette, because I want to just pull a few things more together uh, for the palette, share that with you, and then um, we will, and then after that, I am going to talk about um, my cutting guides, my five cutting guides, but I have to make a handout for that, you, you know, so I, that's going to take me just a smidge longer to do. I know if um, Julie A was here, <laughs> she'd be like, Lauren, when are we going to get to see that and learn that? I know I'm working on it, Julie. So, okay. Um, yeah. You weren't going to get the mountain, Sharon. I know it's darn, it's so cute, right? It's hard. It's hard when you when you see it in action, but that's what I love sharing. So you can uh, get to make your own decisions. Remember, check last chance. Okay, I don't want you guys to miss anything. Love to uh, make sure you're always in the know. What else? Did I miss anything? Thank you, Sandra. And um, yeah, Carrie, you'll be there. Awesome, my bud, my bud. Okay, so. <laughs> I am an enabler. And you guys, I know I've got something up my sleeve. I'm really excited to share with you. I'm kind of like diverging into some other little areas. And oh, thank you, Sherry. Oh, yes. I'm going to show you the seashell borders before we go. Um, yeah. I, so anyhow, I, I do want to, um, I do want to share some fun little things. I've been chatting with Carrie about other stuff and she knows what I'm talking about, but your guys will just have to wait because I got to get my, my head around it. Um, so in this, uh, this is my Kawaii album. Remember last time we did, we had punches. Remember the palm tree punches? And I'm like, you guys don't miss out on the palm tree and on the waves. Remember those, those two borders? And um, because 
that's the thing when these promotions come out they are here and they are gone and then everybody's like what i forgot i didn't get it now i want it so right so those two borders you can't get anymore um kissing fish that was a border maker cartridge but i had uh there was a, a page i did in here with the seashells which was so fun, right? Seashells, you can do that in so with so many different pages here. I love those, that shell border. And then um, what's really fun with this one is you can cut it. Like remember I did the little shake and make peekaboo pocket. So I, I put the insides of this border strip in the peekaboo pocket and then I cut apart the seashell border strip and stuck that inside the peekaboo pocket so that it kind of gives this little texture dimension. Anyhow, it's one of my favorite things to play and do and you can kind of see it there. So there's the seashell and uh, I know that there's other borders we've made with that, but we'll have to come back, visit it again. Let's see, so the seashell, the Baroque, let me show you that one, the Baroque, the seashell, this one, just went on last chance, the airplane, last chance, the gum leaf, last chance, the infinity, last chance. So let's see, did I miss any? I'm looking at the ones in front of me. I think that's, I think that's it. Last chance right here. And then these are the new ones. I think there might be, maybe there's a couple other on last chance, I'm not sure. But uh, these are, I know, I just checked. And um, I, I believe everything is still available at the moment. So there you go. All right. So Patricia, you just signed up for um, on Sunday, June. Oh, for Creative Cafe. Okay. Oh, fun. It's your birthday present to yourself. Yay. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> All right, so that's great. And Creative Cafe, that is still happening. It is on Father's Day weekend. And uh, there's just a few last spaces available for coffee time. And if you remember, coffee time is the first 500 to sign up. And uh, you get an additional goodie when you sign up for coffee time. You get an additional coffee time Zoom with us. And uh, enter into drawings for additional tickets to drawing. So there you go. Um, so that'll be a fun weekend. We've got a lot, a lot of good stuff. We're waiting to see the new products coming in because we always like to play with what's brand, brand new. And um, I know one of the things that's coming. So um, that'll be a fun, fun project, but I'm hoping, let's see, when should we know? We will know not this so this was a non-product release friday so next friday um so product will release on the first of the uh the first monday of the month okay first monday of the month so look the, for the friday before that and you will see me sharing what's new so i can't wait to find out what else is coming but we'll have new stuff we will have uh new ideas fresh ideas and uh it's a fun group that we get together and doing that. So <laughs> um, I know I, I, I'm with you, Laura. I know it's hard to resist. Sorry, I guess I'm just gonna have to label myself enabler, right? <laughs> enabler. And when you have so much fun, I think this is just something, um, you know, when it brings you joy, then you can share that joy with other people. So that's the way I like to look at things. You can um, have fun, enjoy yourself, and then share that with other people. So 
You guys have a wonderful rest of your Friday. I will see all of you who have joined me in album in a day tomorrow. And um, I'm also just for my team, my creative memories team, just a little heads up for you all if you're joining me and hear this. Um, I'm hoping to pop in our team Facebook group uh, on Sunday. And I'm gonna do a, a little impromptu training on Facebook pages. So um, look for a post, a couple posts coming both for um, album in a day and for my team for training. So have a great weekend, you all, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now. And don't forget to craft your joy. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.